This video is to answer some requests or comments on some of my street photography videos on how I edit my street photos on what is my editing workflow in editing these uh, street photography photos. Actually, this is uh, quite long overdue request. So for this video, guys, I'll be sharing to you how I edit my photos, my Lightroom editing workflow in editing these street photography images. So please stick around. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Sams. Uh, if you're new here, my channel is all about photography. I do uh, street photography stuff and sometimes I do portrait photography as well. So uh, please consider subscribing and be part of my very small community. Okay, like I said for this uh, video, I'll be sharing to you guys my editing workflow and in, uh, in editing my street photography videos or uh, street photography uh, images. And I will be sharing to you as well uh, how to achieve these uh, color tones or uh, actually these are presets that I'm using in Lightroom. Actually, I'm using around three to four uh, presets uh, from all of my photography, street photography videos. So I'll be sharing to you as well uh, how I achieve this. And so without further ado, let's uh, go into Lightroom and I hope you can follow my editing and uh, let's start. Okay guys, we are now here in uh, Lightroom and actually I prepared a couple of uh, images for us to edit. Actually, these are uh, uh, six images I prepared to edit. So let's start off this uh, photo. This photo uh, was taken during my last latest uh, street photography photo shoot. Uh, and this was taken uh, using my Fujifilm X-T2 and this 18-55 uh, kit lens. So uh, in my last... Uh, photography street photography video i was using the this uh, preset the vintage uh, greek preset this was used primarily on those uh, photos uh, taken so for this edit guys let's start to emulate the the editing workflow that i'm using this uh, preset so uh, let's start so let's uh, reset first and first is normally in the basic panel is uh, we check a white balance if white balance is okay then you need to adjust here normally uh, i think 90 90 percent of the time i'm not adjusting this in my street photography photos so let's proceed to this exposure uh, sliders here so but normally i just click the auto so lightroom will automatically adjust for us the the darks and whites and the shadows of our photo and the saturation as well but for the vibrance and saturation i will bring back this thing to zero and the rest is okay and next thing we proceed to the turn curve the uh, tone curve with the rgb we we crush the blacks make it to gray and make an s curve something like this and we bring down the highlights to remove the overexposed areas so for the red channels we just again make an s curve something like this and same thing for our greens as well this will make uh, our photos more contrasty in the colors but we will uh, adjust this thing as we go along if we need to so as you can see our photo is now a bit saturated and uh, contrasty as well so we proceed to the hsl the u saturation luminance uh, panel for the u guys just play this thing around the purpose is to shift all these uh, colors whatever you you want or whatever look we want to achieve for this one i remember i play this i put the reds on the left side and the orange as well and put the greens in the right side and echo to the right side and put the blue put on the left side like this and the aqua i think the right side as well and so for me guys you can play this thing around or whatever you want to shift the colors there's there's no right and wrong 
for the saturation guys this it can bring all the saturation uh, slider down or you can click this uh, color selector to bring down like the rest you click on the rest and bring down the colors and the blue as well okay like that. so it's up to you if uh so i guess that one is okay the luminous is same as well for this case i will click on her face to lift up the exposure a bit and for the blues i think i need to bring down and the reds I need to bring down so i think i'm happy with that so for speed toning guys i'm not using this detail a uh, sharpening i put around 50 to 60 only and for the masking you need to press the alt button and move to the right until only the white portion will be sharpened something like that noise reduction you don't need to use that and less correction also we don't need to use that transform as well we don't need to use this and effect is the vignetting so for this case i think we can put around 10 is enough and lastly the calibration of our panel we can adjust here as well for the tint in the shadows as you can see it's more to the green or the so for this one i think we don't need to it's in the middle or you can put towards the green a bit it's okay something like that for the red primary if you move the slider too much then it's a weird color will appear so just a bit any for the green as well So I think I'm happy with this uh, tone guys so normally I go back to my basic panel and do some fine tuning panel adjustments so for this one we'll add some clarity around 15 to 20 so have this a uh, grit uh, grudginess a bit and texture to around 5 or 7 is enough so that's I think that's it guys this is my final edit so i'm happy with this uh, thing i'm not sure if uh, we have the same look in my previous uh vintage grid editing so so we have these uh other two photos so we just need to copy my adjustments to these two so we just click shift click the image and click shift and click to the, click the final the last image and click synchronize so these uh, synchronized settings will pop up so make sure you unclick the local adjustments the crop and the spot removals because these are local adjustments and you don't need this to be copied as well because each photo has different uh, local adjustment perhaps so we so after this click synchronize and we it will copy our adjustment to these photos so this is the this photo already had the adjustments like you can click the before and after from here to here so as you can see guys we, we achieved this kind of look so for this third photo this is our panel image we will examine this and as you can see guys his face is a bit dark and this portion is uh, a bit light or uh, the exposure is a bit high as you can see from the before and after so we will adjust this a bit to, to balance out the exposure so for one to achieve this is we will lift up the shadows on our face so one tip i can give you guys is normally i use a radial filter or brush for this one so let's use a radial filter and make, make a small circle at his face and click this uh, invert in the and the feather to around 80 and you bring up the exposure a bit and your shadows not too much and i think it's enough so we now we can now see his face and for this portion we use the graduated filter we make a graduated filter going up and for this case we bring down the exposure to balance out and that's it guys this is our adjusted photo
from here guys let's say you still have another hundreds of photos or you want to use this for future use you can uh, create a preset out of this uh, lightroom adjustment that we have done so you, as you can see in the left side of the panel this is where the presets you can click this uh, plus uh, plus icon click create preset then you can name your presets anything you want like for myself i already named this uh, as a vintage uh, greek presets and under group you can create your own new group or as for myself i already have my group here so you just click create and it will be saved and you can see this on your left side panel under uh, presets but for me i will not create because i already have this uh, presets under my presets uh, group so here it is uh, it's a vintage grid so this the one so that's that's it guys uh hope it helps my editing workflow in your uh, photography editing so uh that's it so that's it guys that's my editing workflow in lightroom in editing these uh, street photography images i hope you like it and i hope you're able to follow me on the workflow and if you like the presets the lightroom presets that i've shown you you can download it and use it in your photography can download it on my photography website i will put the link in the description down below and i would like to say thank you if you do it and it's a support to my channel and once again if you like this video guys please have to click the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and click the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified on my next uh, video upload so until then see you on my next video Peace.